outside on the front porch. It's just so relaxing. It's hot. I just wanted to answer a quick question that we got in a previous YouTube video. And it made me think that maybe there's a bit of confusion between two different terms that we commonly use when we're talking about water and milk kefir. And those terms are first fermentation and second fermentation. We've had a few videos recently where we talk about first fermentation and second fermentation, adding flavor and fruit juice to your water kefir or flavoring your milk kefir or even your kombucha tea. And some of the comments that we got back made me think that there's some confusion between second fermentation and second batch. So let's talk about what those mean. Let's talk about the instructions that you can find at posymom.com for either your water kefir, your milk kefir, or your kombucha tea. In those instructions, we're describing how to process or brew or ferment your first batch. In other words, we're explaining to you how to take the product you get in the mail, which would be milk kefir grains, water kefir grains, or kombucha scoby, the little bit of starter tea, and how to brew that or ferment that for the first time and produce your first batch of probiotic beverage. Now, in the case of all three probiotic products, when you finish that first batch, you remove the primary part of that, of that probiotic product, uh, the grains or the kombucha scoby, and you make a new batch with that product. In other words, if your water kefir is growing successfully, you can make batch after batch after batch after batch of water kefir with the same grains. Your supply of probiotic water kefir beverage is virtually endless, as long as you take care of those grains and make batch after batch. The same is true with milk kefir and kombucha tea. Now, each one of those new batches, if you're following the instructions at posymom.com, no matter if it's the first time, the second time, or the 50th time you're doing it, that is always the first fermentation. However, once you've finished a batch of water kefir, milk kefir, kombucha tea, you've separated the beverage from the primary part of that product, that is the grains or the scoby, you can continue to ferment the beverage without the grains or scoby included inside the beverage. That is called second fermentation. I guess the best way to think of it is counting fermentations is from the perspective or point of view of the water, milk, or tea. The water, milk, or tea ferments the first time with the grains or scoby, but then can ferment continuously the second time once the grains or scoby have already been removed. The culture of bacteria and yeast already inside the beverage can continue to ferment that beverage out on your counter or in your fridge. But counting batches, your first batch, second batch, 100th batch, 1000th batch, that is from the perspective of the grains or the scoby. So even if you're doing your third batch, that isn't your third fermentation, it's the third batch of your first fermentation. I hope that makes sense because recently we suggested or recommended not flavoring your water kefir, for example, on your first fermentation, but waiting for the second fermentation. That doesn't mean that we're saying to add fruit juice or fruit to the second batch of water kefir. It means that when you're flavoring the beverage, it's always when the grains are no longer part of the beverage. They've already been strained out. We actually suggest doing the same with milk kefir and kombucha tea, even though that video was specifically about water kefir. I don't know if I'm making sense anymore. I hope this explains the difference between first and second fermentation and first and second and third batch and so on. So that's it for today. So until next time, stay healthy and proud.